As the Michelin star chef, I spend most of my working life in the kitchen. However, sometimes I like to get out and explore. And the South has such great restaurants. And today, I'm visiting a chef who used to be a rock star. Well, today I'm in the historic village of Bidadun in Kent, famous in the 12th century for the Bidadun maids, but also now famous for the West House restaurant. The West House restaurant is home to a chef patron, Graham Garrett, and I'm going to find out all about him and the produce he uses. Hi, Hi Graham. How are you? Fantastic. What a wonderful place. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely full of charm. Have oh, a lovely. Seat. Little gem. It's, uh, it was a, a nice little find. But this hasn't always been your vocation, has it? Because you weren't always a chef. You came late in life, really. I had two passions when I was, when I was younger, it was, which was um, cooking and music. And music was always kind of more important anyway, because I was going to be a rock star. And uh, I carried on reading cookbooks throughout my musical career. And I'd be on a tour bus and they're all, they've got their Walkmans on and they're writing songs or they're nursing hangovers or doing whatever <laughs> they're doing. Right recipes. And I was reading cookbooks. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a really interesting supply you want to show me, haven't you? I've got, um, I've got a few interesting suppliers, but one which I'm sure you've come across before, we'll, get, we'll go and meet. Uh, it's a lady called Frances Smith. She's got a place in Appledore. What she does is, rather than growing little salad leaves for cosmetic purposes, she grows them for flavour. OK, well, let's, okay. let's go and meet her. Hi, Francis. Oh, Hiya. hello. Nice to meet you. Alex. Oh. Hi, Francis. Oh, Pleased to meet you. I understand you grow fantastic herbs and salads and vegetables for chefs like Graham. That's exactly what we do, yes, and have done for many years. I think the next thing to do is for you to show us what you grow and how you do it. And right. If you could. And inspire us to... He's going to cook me something fantastic yeah. this come afternoon. On, come on a nibbling find. safari. A nibbling safari. That's that what sounds we call like it. Fun. Up to our tunnels. <laughs> Try that for a start. We pick everything into these bags, it keeps it from wilting. Right. In here, as you can see, we've got all the seed trays. This is how everything comes on. There these are. are our Park Hill pea shoot, and although loads of people do pea shoots, I still think no, ours are the are best. Quite particularly you taste fun. that. These are fantastic. Right? These are pea shoots, so these would grow onto big peas. These would grow on to make a huge shoots. pea plant, which would in fact oh, no, grow no, no. the kind of oh, peas that make pea flavor. soup. Great, Appledore Salads has been supplying produce to top restaurants across the South since the late 80s. On average, Francis grows 30 different salad varieties and one particular plant that I've never seen before. Baby, elephant, garlic. What I really love is when they're this size and they're tender and sweet and absolutely delicious and I call them my baby elephants. And they are... So they have a much, a, this is a new one to me, is it? It is to me too. I mean, it's a much milder flavour. It's very it's mild. And of course you can use because there's no flower stalk in there yet, you can use the stem all the way up. Oh, right. the, the smell of garlic is wonderful, isn't it? That's the old clove. We've got inside right. here something like a very, very delicate garlic flavoured spring onion. Yeah. That's, That's fantastic. fantastic. Well let's come, let's get back. Okay. We've got all this. Let's get back down to your restaurant and um, see what we can cook with it all. Mm, it's all it grows for the scent. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Later on, Graham will be showing me how he cooks sea trout using herbs, pea shoots and garlic. <laughs> 